is CGTN, China Global Television Network. Yusuf inherited this farm from his grandfather. He was born here. His father was also born here. Large top, breadfruit, this with big leaves. But vine is black pepper. It is a place far from his homeland. One hundred and thirty years ago, Yusuf's grandfather made his move. Babuyangu, Mzerashi diana itwa Yunus. Oman alikuwa kazi yake mambo ya ukulima. Debt, Oman debt, maybe a lot of little bit mango. Alikuja Zanzibar na pesa kwa kanunua shamba. Sehemu ina itwa kiboje, twenty meter kula twenty kilometer kutoka apa. Kasi kia hii na uzwa. Na hii ni kubwa kaona bora auze hili anunui hii. Hili kuwa 99 acres. His grandfather traveled thousands of miles to the island for good reason. And he was not the only one. Wakati huo, miaka labda miambili au zaidi lupita, hili kuwa watu ndo system kuja huku Afrika na kufanya maisha huku. Ule Oman na katika nchi zingine za Kiarabu ilikuwa ni maisha magumu kidogo. Desert, hamna mambo ya kulima, hamna utamaduni kama huu manake wa kufanya mashamba na kwa njia rahisi tu na hivi. Hamna. Ule shamba ilinakukosti sana. Lazima ubalilishe ile ardhi kwa kutiambolea na lazima uweke maji siku zote. Sasa ile ni gharama vile vile. Huku hakuna hiyo. Huku kifanya shamba mefanya tumoja kwa moja. Yusuf's grandfather made a deal with the local government. Alikuenda kwenye idara ya kilimo ya ya nasari kuomba miche elfu nne ya mikarafu. Bosi wakati wao Mr. Mike Lenin, nami Germani alikuwa yuo. Ila kama mbia kumbwa usiye ukauwa tam chemoja. Ukiuwa tu nakupige fine. Ukiponyesha yote tu nakuzawadiya. Ana aliwe zakufanya vizuri na kuzawadiwa. 4,000 rupee, badala ye kulipa ye kalipo na asirikali ya wakati ule. Three generations later, the land has been split among family members. Today, Yusuf's farm covers 27 acres. The harvest of cloves is much smaller than it used to be but it's still plenty to keep his workers busy. Watu walikuwa washa tayari washa kuja wana rudi wana kuenda wana zumumza. Yapo kama hakuna mausiliana o telefoni kama sasa lakini habari zina kuenda vyombo ya majahazi vina kuenda vikirudi siku zote. Maki usiano wa hizi inchi zetu za Afrika Mashariki na Warabuni ni wazaidi ya miaka miasita labla nyuma. Sitting on the east coast of Africa, the annual monsoon trade winds that pass Zanzibar make it easily accessible to boats and immigrants. The first traders arrived on the island as early as the 5th century, and it has been a trading port in the Indian Ocean ever since. What grows in abundance on Yusuf's farm has been traded since ancient times. This here. Spice. Black pepper, green pepper, white pepper from the same plant. The, the red pepper from the ripe. This red, if you squeeze it and back out to get white. 
white for medicine. Largely originating in East Asia and used both as medicine and for its exotic flavor, spice was a highly demanded luxury on European tables since the Middle Ages. The Portuguese were the first Europeans to set foot on the island in the 15th century, taking control of the spice trade routes. Towards the end of the 17th century, a man from the Arabian Peninsula assisted to drive out the Portuguese and took over the island. In 1840, Amman Sultan moved its capital from Muscat to Stone Town of Zanzibar. Zanzibar's cultural landscape evolved as more foreign influences came to the island. Hamadi's great-grandparents came to Zanzibar from Yemen in 1800. And his family history gets far more complex. Babuyangu Halisi ametokea Arabuni, lakini amekuja hapa many years ago. Na mamangu babake alikuwa ni mtu wa Pemba pale. Kwa hivyo hatukujua lakini ni alikuwa ni Mswahili. Kwa hivyo babu yangu mzaa baba ameoa Mswahili. Kwa hivyo that's why familia yetu imekuwa very interesting kwa sababu tuna mchanganyiko wa damu. Adding to the island's heritage are the Persians who came to Zanzibar far earlier in the 10th century. This was a public bath built by Persian descendants. The Indian traders also arrived in the 19th century. It is amid these diverse influences that Hamadi grew up on the island. He's the founder of a local art center where he teaches young artists and helps to sell their works. As an artist, Hamadi is keen on expressing his feelings in an abstract way. Over the centuries, as a trading hub connecting Asia, Africa, Europe, and the Middle East, Zanzibar became a land where different forces met. This is easily visible inside the Sultan's Palace, built in 1883, now a public museum. Out of this cultural melting pot, the island became a birthplace to new trends. Nikweli kwamba instrument isi atimisiwa hapa ni si Afrika na hii inaitwa kanon na imekuja baada kuja waarabu A new music genre tarab was initiated by one of the first sultans of Zanzibar Today it blends arabian tones and swahili lyrics with diverse instruments Kwa hiyo kwa kwa kipindi hicho miaka 1800 mfalme kwa wakati huo alikuwa anatawala wa Kiarabu mfalme Barhash wa kutoka Oman. Kwa hiyo alikuwa ni mpenzi sana wa, wa, wa mziki huu. 
Kwa wakati huo mfalme Barhash akampeleka Muhammad Ibrahim kusomea Cairo akasomea baadhi ya vyombo kama ile kanun iloloyona na violin Like the migrants from Persia, Oman and India, the new music style was assimilated into the culture of the island, spreading across parts of East Africa and inland. Arab music is still to be heard on the island today, though the sultans are long gone. Yusuf can feel their presence lingering in his own backyard somehow. This is house original from second sultan, Majid. And uh, Princess Selme, wow, I'll come to the house. First original, this is toilet from the second sultan to can have like a bath down and water full. It turns out that Yusuf's land originally belonged to the sultan's family. He may not be aware, but the sultans left not only runes behind, but also a history of a darker nature. Due to the demand for plantation workers by the Europeans, Zanzibar became central to the slave trade into the interior of Africa. As many as 50,000 slaves passed through the port every year in the mid-19th century. In 1876, under the pressure from the British Empire, the Sultan was forced to officially abolish the lucrative slave trade. Every day, the younger generation of Zanzibar is embracing new horizons. After the abolishment of slave trade, Spice became a major income generator on the island. It gave rise to numerous plantations, many of which were run by Omani Arabs, like Yusuf's forefathers. Every day, Yusuf's farm is supplied with produce fresh from the soil. As the third generation of his family in Africa, the land has shaped Yusuf's life. Ni mia, niko ndani ya ndoa miaka 40. Na ni jambo la kawaida tu hapa mtu naolewa na Mwarabu na wao wa Mwarabu. Yusuf's first wife, Mariam, comes here to cook meals every day with her daughter. Yaani ni wote wote kwa sababu upande ni Mwarabu upande ni Mwafrika. Kwa hiyo siwezi kujihisi ni nimebezi sana sehemu fulani. Kote kote. Wewe mara nyingi tumata mkeo kwenye nikita. Wewe njoo bana vipi wewe? Njoo Karibu ni bana. Habari siku ya bibi salama. And her father doesn't seem to feel any different. Ah pa. Kabisa hata baba yangu hakujisikia hivyo. Maana naye kazaliwa hapa. 
Sasa mimi nitajisikia vipi? Mimi na na uswahili hapa ni sawa sawa tu. Mimi na Afrika ni kitu kimoja tu. Mimi nimelelewa na na, na na Afrika. Wa hapa na wa bara. Wamelelewa sasa kabisa. Eh, kwa sababu baba yangu alikuwa rafiki zake sana hao Afrika na aliwaweka sasa katika hii shamba kumsaidia kazi. nafikiri wazee walivyokuwa nakaa zamani wanaishi wanaishi ki pamoja pa, pamoja kidogo sababu hata mimi nimewahi kuona katika 1960 mimi baba zangu wanakwenda mbali wanakaa two week kwa kwa mswahili tu na wanakaa kwa furaha ha mshikili wote ha kwa moyo mmoja yani hakuna matatizo hapa Life was not always without hurt. During the independence movement which swept across Africa in the 1960s, thousands of Arabs living in Zanzibar were persecuted and many more were forced to leave the island. Yusuf's family was not spared. Ndio sana tu lakini hatujali sisi kwamba yametokezea hayo tena tuweke chuki labda hivi tunajua mambo ya Mungu yale yamefanyika na yashapita basi na duniani kokote inaweza kutokezea hivyo kujua kwamba Qur'an imetuunganisha waislamu sote na vile vile imeunganisha watu wote. Ya, Qur'an haikumbagua mtu kwamba huyu ni tofauti na huyu ni tofauti. Sisi sote wa waislamu tunaamini tumeumbwa na Mungu mmoja. At dusk, Hamadi goes to the rooftop opposite his art center. To express his feelings. After the turmoil in the 1960s, many foreigners fled. Yusuf stayed because of his land. I have 130 different type fruit, spice and medicine plant. He grows almost 30 different types of spice. Cinnamon, ginger, clove, turmeric, tamarind, nutmeg, black pepper. The farm is a treasure trove of fresh products. Inakuwa very expensive. Inatoka India kwa wao kule. Ah. Uh, Hii ni nzuri kwa sababu inafanya baridi au joto. Wakati wa baridi kali hii inaleta joto, automatic inafanya. Na wakati wa joto inaleta baridi. Uh, ndio maana wazee zamani ukitengeneza matandiko mats and pillow from this long time to make. Now sponge and everything sponge or plastic. Yusuf employs three permanent farm workers. Pirika pirika sahau zinazidi kuongezeka. Ndio inakuwa hivyo. And is made sure to pass on his knowledge to the younger generation. Hayo dini ndao ambayo inatumika kama mtu umejichanja mfano na kisu au umepata jeraha au kidonda au tunatumia kwa Mara 
In a good season, Yusuf harvests up to 200 kilograms of black pepper. Over the last 35 years, Yusuf's spice plantations have become a source of livelihood for many locals, and he offers other help too. Yusuf's largest yield is of his favorite spice, cinnamon. He has 5,000 cinnamon trees on his farm. Root of uh, cinnamon for medicine, bark also good for cooking and medicine, the leaves even, and, and, and cinnamon to give three types of oil, from the leaves, from the bark and root. With its plentiful spice plantations, Zanzibar has earned another name, the Spice Island. And spice is present in every Zanzibari's life, every day. Manjano tunaitumia kati ya viungo kuna viungo vingi sana vya 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 vya, vya, kujipa, vya kujipodoa kwa wanawake. Lakini pia inatakatisha vizuri, inalainisha pia ngozi. Kwa manjano ni nzuri hata kwa wanawari kabla hujaolewa, siku ya kuolewa, baada ya kuolewa inatibu sana kwa wanawake chunusi. Over the centuries, the different powers that played on the island have left their marks or their scars. Together, they have built Zanzibar's identity. Born on this island, Hamadi creates a portrait of his home. I put a lot of people with the different different colors. So this it uh, it show how connection of our people here 
and how we mix the color. We have very, very different color, but uh, we, are, we are all together. Diverse as it is, the island seems to be a place for everybody. I think that Zanzibar is a place for us because Zanzibar is a place for Islam. And Islam is a place for us. Muslims are a place for us. We are a place for us. We are a place for us. We are a place for us. All Muslims are friends. There is a philosophy that we call Ubuntu. Si Afrika tunayo hiyo kuliko kuliko tamaduni nyingine yoyote ni I am because of you are tunajumuika kwenye kila kitu kwenye kwenye maharusi kwenye kula Zanzibar ukija kila mtu anakaribishwa na tunakula na ndio hiyo African uh, kitu cha urithi ambacho tunacho ndio tofauti yetu kati ya Afrika na Waarabu hakuna tofauti it's a small it's a small island and all of us we are mixed every family here we are mixed if you do any crisis you beat your brother you beat your sister yeah it's like that as different nationalities of people continue to come to the island so new cycles of opportunities and challenges begin like some tourists right now came and they dress is not very good they naked, you know, something like that. And some of the youth, they see it's a very good thing, so they imitate. Yusuf's business is under pressure as he refuses to bribe tour guides to bring him visitors. He has turned his attention to growing a tree nursery instead. <laughs> ikiwemo cloves, coconuts na rambutan. Kwa sababu mimi nikifanya hata kama ninapata pesa lakini wale wanafanya wana, wanazidisha sasa kuipa nguvu ile asili ya Zanzibar na miti yake kwamba isipotee. Despite the odds, Yusuf still has loyal visitors like this group from Germany. Millennia have passed since humans first settled on this unique island. Through the centuries, it was not only shaped by the wind of the Indian Ocean, but also the different people coming with it. It continues to build its identity with new forces from new directions. You are coming from where? From Africa, South Africa, China, and India. There you go. And now, what have I got? A tie. Is it your first time in Zanzibar? My first time here. How do you like it? I think it's uh, it's got a good vibe. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Sure. Uh, no. So after I ask a question, she translates. When you answer, you look at me. Okay. 